What is up guys, how's it going? In this video we'll be looking at the S Voice app for the Galaxy S4. Now this app was recently leaked a few days back so I managed to download it. And uh, overall I'd say the app looks pretty promising. Now do keep in mind guys this is not the the final version of the app. So there are obviously a whole lot of bugs and stuff but Overall, it gives a very nice functionality. As you can see, there are simple settings I can access. There, I can also navigate. It's basically just like Google Now or basically like Siri. I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I can say send text message to. I can check the weather. I can um, do a whole lot of stuff. There's also a driving mode, which looks like a new feature. I don't remember seeing that in the older S3's S voice app but overall there are a whole bunch of stuff and it looks all good so <clears throat> for those of you who want to download the app it's the link is in the description bar on the bottom you need to go to the link from your phone or else what's the point you, you're not going to be using it on your PC so don't go to drag and play go to downloads and then you'll find it in your download sitting down right there now when you hit on it, it will say installation blocked. Now what you need to do is basically just go into settings and in settings go into security and then just check the unknown sources part and that would allow installation of apps that are not from the Play Store. Now because I'm running Android 4.2 it's in security. If you're running another version it might be in developer options or um, somewhere else. So that's it for that. Let's go ahead and um, install the app. So as you can see, it needs permissions to do a whole bunch of stuff. We're just going to hit next and get it installed. Hopefully it shouldn't take too much time. So anyways, as I was saying, guys, this is just more like a beta app. And these leaked apps, you can't really trust them. If you remember last year, the S3's S voice also leaked and it got canceled. It just stopped working by itself. So anyways, the app is now working and uh, I just opened it. So let's see. Okay, when you open it, you get, you know, the normal stuff. When you download a new app, you have to agree to stuff. You have to confirm stuff and all the legal blah, blah. Anyways, so you can also, you know, it gives you the usage of the app in the beginning and you get to see a whole bunch of stuff, which uh, looks a little interesting but not very interesting to me but overall it's a good way of seeing the whole functionality of the app and whatever it can do and basically tips and tricks on how to make use of the app so let's go ahead and see the app in action all right guys so let's go ahead and ask it a few questions and let's see how it turns out what's the weather I think let's ask it a few more difficult questions this time. Time to go hard. Hi Galaxy. Who is the president of Zimbabwe? As you can see a more option comes as well in which if you go on that it pulls up a whole card just like Google now with different details. I'm not sure if they're trying to copy Google now or Siri but uh, they are getting a little better as compared to last year. Search for Facebook on the web. For Facebook. Web search Facebook. As you can see guys, it actually searched on Google Now, which is kind of ironic because S Voice is um, asking Google Now for help. It's not opening up the normal browser or Chrome browser. The app itself runs pretty well, but sometimes it takes forever to load questions. and. Uh, 
it just seems pretty awful but that should give you guys the idea that this is not a final product so don't expect it to do a whole bunch of good stuff as obviously the final product would be a lot better and this is probably in beta or something else all right guys so that's pretty much it do give the video a thumbs up it helps me a lot and if you subscribe that will help me even more and uh stay tuned to what i'm doing i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye